Welcome back everyone, my name is Eltamar and we are going to be continuing our Let's Play of Tower of Time. Where we left off last time, we had just discovered that magic corrupted people and did a whole bunch of dam or damaging things that made them ill and blind and eventually just gave up on life entirely. So yeah, please notes number three. I have captured two villagers. They feign ignorance of the key, but this is to be expected. Even these simpleton villagers know to fear my wrath. I'll secure them in the prison quarters and interrogate them later. Thankless fools. I alone am responsible for saving our world. I alone shall lead. None shall stop me. Leith is kind of losing it. What is that? The blueprint. We need to get there. This place has the likeness of a prison. Strange to place it so near the city's main quarters. I don't think it was originally a prison. Look at the size of those doors. I doubt they were built to hold some prisoners of immense size. More than likely, it was a storage area of some sort. The real question is, why would they need a prison in the first place? Because Sleeth is evil. Didn't you get that? There's a lot of doors here we can't get in. And enchantment scrolls. Armor Shatter reduces enemy armor by 12% for 10 seconds. Multiple enchants of this type on different weapons do not stack. Okay. Good to know. There's a door here. And an ambush. Constructs have decided to say hi. Oh, we have two people trapped at the beginning of this fight. That's bad news. And they're both of our best DPS. That's really bad news. We need to preempt like now. but we might as well. We need to get her free and then we'll be okay. Alright, we should be okay now. We're gonna get this other one open. Our dwarf will be free. Our treant is gone though. Kind of annoying. Uh oh. I waited too long in the AoE. Okay. Everyone's up and running. Uh, I'm gonna pull you back because you are really hurt. And you are gonna die really quickly here. We're good now. Everything should be fine. That was a little bit unfortunate that our best DPS were stuck in a thing together, or in cages separately, but also together. Sixty percent done. Sixty-three percent. We do have enough for healing. Probably put it like right there heal up our dwarf, who is hurting a bit. And move you, and move you. And that's it. Cool. That was a little bit tougher, but we did it just fine. In the end, we also need to level up our character still. We can't because we need a blueprint first. I can't believe they actually left us here. The last guard to enter flew in with haste, snatched a few belongings and rushed out without even checking on the prisoners. Before he left, he muttered something about the Magi in a panic. It has been 33 days since and not a single soul has returned to the prisons. I can only imagine the Magi fled, never to return, and with their departure, our fates have been sealed. 
There's no way to force the door open. I spent day and night digging through the stone and dirt. Today I finally reached the adjoining cell. I had hopes to keep going until I freed myself from the prison, but my hunger and weakness are too great to continue. Such a cruel irony of life, imprisoned for pouring soup over an elder teacher and now starving to death, alone and forgotten. I will miss the sunsets over the icy plains, bathing in the ever-cold sea. May the spirits remember me. He did have a good go of things, like that is quite the tunnel he dug. He should have dug in a straight line. He probably would have been okay. Frost vest? Some gold? A two-handed axe, which is kind of nice. A note. Under the bed you find a note. Sleeth is still searching for me, and for others as well. I see him pacing back and forth outside the door, but he has never looked inside. He keeps talking to himself. I am too far off to hear most of what he's saying, but it's clear that he has gone quite mad. Curse him. Tomorrow if I don't see him, I will leave this place and move south to the cave to retrieve the key. Then I will press forward to find another way up or down. I've got a new enchantment. Wait, can I just- oh, there's gold here. Hang on. I went too fast and missed some gold. Can I open the door from this side? No. Okay, well... We're at 699 gold. We can't level anybody up just yet. We need those blueprints. So let's go see if we can find a way to get to those first. But also there's gold here. Alright. So, our goal right now is to find a way into this cell. Or just this way. There we go. Basics of engineering. Artificial, artificial hall to a maximum level of 4. Okay. We can upgrade our artificer hall. Artificer's hall. I can speak, I promise. Let's go do that. We'll get our dwarf to level four. And by artificer's hall level four, I mean two, which allows it to get to level four. That's what I was getting at. All right, we are now level four. We can't get any further on any of our characters, so that's where we're at on that. I will quickly, nope, level the sky up. So skill tree, what do we got? We can get a better mana hit thing, which is good because it's a really good ability. We have one extra point, we can get explosive ruins up, why not? Probably a good idea. Get him some more resistances. They're still kind of bad, but not as bad. Alright. There's a mechanical guard here. I'm not sure if that's a fight or something we have to do. Inside the cell you see him, you see a strange figure. A lifeless construct of gears and metal caked with thick layers of dust. Oh, this hammer a machine. Would you look at that? What a marvelous relic. Rakim approaches the construct, touching and prodding every square inch of the machine. After a few moments of rotating gears and pulling small chains and twisting buttons, the gears of the construct suddenly come to life. Prisoner 4525 has not allowed any visitors. Please leave immediately. Reckham stumbles back, shooting a quick glance to his companions, his face full of confusion. Within moments, a lively dispute erupts over what to do with the strange mechanical contraption. Although it's very old and rusty, it does look formidable. Maeve suggests leaving it where it is to rest. Reckham urges the party to stay and see if anything happens. I'm gonna stay with see what happens. I really want to see what happens. I guess just let the party decide. And apparently Rackham won. The situation quickly, or it feels equally intriguing as well as dangerous. Unable to decide yourself, you let the party decide what to do. In the end, Rackham convinces the others an encounter like this is worth the risk. The party stays and waits for the reaction of the mechanical guard. Your champions anxiously wait for a few seconds. Suddenly, the mechanical guard raises his rusty spear above his head and charges. Fight. 3,000 experience on this, or 3,000 health on this boss. Where is it? There it is. Okay, we're gonna slow things down for a sec, because we're gonna need to get buffs up and move people in. And do that, and that, and that. And that's it. Go. Everybody in. I'm gonna get healing on them, because apparently this thing is doing a bunch of damage to them. 
in like an AOE cleave type situation. We have to move our dwarf back. He's taking a lot of damage. He is taking the brunt of the damage. Apparently the golem hates him. He's gonna die. Uh, we don't really have any healing for him at the moment either. He might be immune to this. That's okay. He'll be fine. Oh, he really hates all of our characters except our... ...warrior who apparently doesn't care about it at all. There we go. He'll be dead in a second here. Our dwarf's fine. He has taken a little bit of damage. Your champions stand panting with exhaustion. The enemy tested your capabilities to the limit. They should be more careful in the future, else they might encounter an enemy beyond their current capabilities. Speaking of which, we should go back up and do that mausoleum. We have four characters now, it shouldn't be that hard. Those are nice gloves. Yeah, I'll swap those out. Okay. I wonder if two, at this point, if two weapons are better for him. Yeah, a little bit. Except negative 20 magic points? That's brutal. Does it give a lot of regeneration? Hmm. We'll try it once and see if it's worthwhile. She has new armor, which is very pretty. Very, very pretty, actually. Lots of extra life and stuff. And a new helmet, which is much better than her current helmet. She just gained a whole bunch of hit points. Okay. So we're going to quickly jump out here. Back to the tower. Back to the entrance. We have a mausoleum to take out. We have four characters now, and a couple levels under our belt since we tried last, or one level up under our belt at least. We should be able to take this on, I think. Fingers crossed anyways, I imagine we're going to be just fine. Look saved. Open the large tomb. Ambush, of course. I'm going to have a sip of coffee. And we're going to start this out. Elite Death Knights. All right, I've taken a sip. We are good. We're gonna have to focus fire one. The first one we see other way over there. That sucks. Okay, focus fire. You, no, oh, that was charged. Damn it, wrong ability. Not a great start. Almost killed one, kind of. You, not you. You, you, you. Yell bar there. Find them. See if that works. You need to heal yourself.
keep misclicking with this character. Our dwarf just instantly died. Our guy needs to move. Move, move, move. Oh, he's immobilized. Okay. Okay, one's dead. Off to a good start. These guys might still be out of our level range. They are really tough. Yeah, I think we're gonna die here. One second till we can heal again, which might keep us alive a little bit longer. That's actually a really terrible idea. How do I not do that? She can just run. Oh, she's immobilized. She can't just run. Shoot that one down. We're so close to being able to kill one. Uh, or another one, I guess I should say. Yes, oh my god, that was incredibly close. Oh, alright, we won. 300 gold for that, damn. A lot. <laughs> I mean, technically we won, and I'm okay with that. That was just a really tough fight. We're good though, we're fine. Everything's okay. Oof. Now we have lots of gold at least, we just need to uh, find more blueprints because we can't upgrade our people any further. I said the he was in the caves to the south, maybe we go that way, but let's go up this way first. A sinister specter of unusual size is standing ahead of your party, guarding the passage to the side room. The defense mechanism of the tower must have expended considerable energy to create this being. Powerful waves of energy surge from this apparition. We may not be ready to confront such a challenge. <laughs> How have we been at confidence in your eyes, my elven friend? I didn't doubt for a second we can fork and handle this wraith. I don't know. I can we save first? If we can save first, then we'll go try it out. I mean, we just got thoroughly stomped by some, um... Old guys. A fallen magi. 6,000... Look at those resistances, damn. But 6,000 experience hit points. Not too much DPS, but the apprentice guards are not... They're gonna be around as well. They shouldn't be such a big deal, but we'll see. Or is it... Which side is the... Titan? That's the apprentice. There's the Magi. That's the one we want. Okay. Let's get this party zipped. Damn it. It's much easier just to do this. Okay. Uh, you also. W. W. Do that. U. E. There. Yeah. Just shoot that one. Just keep them nice and healed while they do their fitness. New boss stage. Oh, we need to move people. Ah, 
I wish you could click icons for this, but you actually have to click on the people themselves. Do your hammer. And do that again up there. Our treant is dead and we're taking a lot of damage. We need to get out of here. Or we're stuck. We can't, actually can't move. Oh yeah, we can. It just wasn't letting me move before. Or if move this way. Oh, you died. Okay. Nine seconds to heal, or we can do a healing orb right now. Great, I need to move now. Jesus. Wait, where? Is, what the hell happened? Oh, I see. It's a big AoE. Enter something really badly. We are getting overwhelmed by enemy casters. Five seconds so we can heal again, but we're not going to have the mana for it in all honesty. Might still be able to win though. No oh, crap. Move. We might still be able to win. It's just gonna be close. Oh yeah, we're fine. At least I think we're fine. 1%, 0%, yay, we win. Man, some of these fights are getting pretty intense. You can, oh, we have a new set of, oh, we haven't done any of the challenges yet. New set of challenges, mechanical constructs. Should probably do some of the challenges. Old book. Your party finds a stack of parchment. Each page is covered end to end with strange drawings and glyphs. I can't make up most of it, but it appears to be a blueprint. If I had to guess, I'd say some sort of weapon, a wand, or a short staff, perhaps. Let me have it. I'll find a way to decipher it, even if it takes me a hundred years to do it. Okay. And some sort of hammer, or mace, or club. Still no character upgrades though, which is sort of unfortunate. Let's roll. Oh, there's things in here. There's clearly a fight of some sort. More constructs. It looks like there's an old book. Those miserable vermin told me nothing. They perished far too quickly. How dare they defy me? Me! I and I alone understand the world. Only I have the will to s and skill to wield the power. Who are they to deny me, to steal from me? Ignorant fools. They distracted me from my work for far too long. I can waste no more time searching for the key. Other measures will be taken to open the library door. All the knowledge contained within will be mine. Then, then they will see. Every single one of them who questioned me, who dismissed me, they will all pay. The price will be high. 
I am sure now the library must contain the secrets to open a bridge between worlds. It is the wealth and abundance of other worlds that will sustain our own. I will take their food, water, and riches. They will labor for me, worship me, for I will build an empire unprecedented in scope and greatness. Our Tara will not only be reborn, it will extend across the heavens themselves. So you're going the Ner'zhul route, I see. Okay. I understand where you're coming from now. There's one. It's time to fight. I think maybe our dwarf should get a shield. He seems to die awfully fast in combat. Or maybe we should really work on his, like... Um... What sword I'm looking for? The life totals. Seventeen percent defeated, which means we have a long way to go. Twenty percent. Don't waste any of those yet. Heals, precious heals with precious mana. Oh, looks like our. Thing finally ate it. Brilliant. Actually, it's like a long ways away from being remade. We should probably heal things. That sounds super good. Brandon, one second. There we go. That should help out. You need to move. He's dead meat. Yeah, his life total is not great. He might actually survive this, though. If he can survive for four more seconds. I like how his hammer throw heals him a bit. 84%. Shoot at this group. I need your sweet fire arrow explosion over here. If it was on. And this should be the end of the fight, I think. We need to upgrade his hammer toss, because it does a lot of damage and heals him. Which seems to be the most important thing, because he takes loads of damage. Razor and a chest. What do we got in the chest? A helmet, some gold, of course. We're at like a thousand gold. This area is undergoing heavy reconstruction. The orcs are clearly just spending a lot of effort rebuilding this place. Another fountain. Will this one hurt me? No, but it does mana, so I'm gonna actually give that to our... Druid. As the party travels the dark halls by Kane's torchlight, the dwarf catches a shadow from the corner of his eye, causing him to flinch. Are you alright, Master Smith? Uh, right, it's a mud hole on a hot summer's day. And why do you keep jumping at every shadow? Did you think no one noticed? I admit it, I'm a little on edge. It's that blasted vision. That bit about the dark shape circling overhead. Don't tell me a tale from ancient times has you spooked. Nay, it's not that, Sir Druid. You see, my people have a legend about dark things from another place. Things that neither axe nor hammer can harm. Things that come from the air and drain your life before you know what happened. And something from the vision makes you think that those two dark creatures are one and the same? No, laddie. Nothing from the vision drew that comparison. The more I think about it, the more I can't help but feel and it's true. It does kind of seem that way, doesn't it? They don't think it'd be like it is, but it do. 
We're gonna head back the other way and try that little side passageway first. Why can't I go up there? The pathing in this game is a little off sometimes, but actually it's pretty decent overall. I need to find a blueprint, like, real bad. A collapsed wall has opened passage to a section of caverns. I see moving like I said, canny lads. Canny. So we got some enemies up here. We got a cave's teleport, but there's a side cave that goes up and around. That leads to a treasure chest and a dead construct. And a scroll. 3% damage dealt is recovered as mana. We should really enchant our things at some point in time. We'll work on that. A new bow. A new archivist type bow. Not archivist, sorry. Uh, arbalist. That's what I'm looking for. We have this... I think I should probably put on somebody. Got a bunch of resistances, some mana. You know what? We're gonna give that to the druid. There we go. I'm gonna give this armor to our dwarf. I think it's a little bit better. And his gloves are clearly better. Check this thing out. So we got a club, which can do a good amount of stun. That's probably what we'll switch out for. We'll lose a speed, which kind of sucks. We'll lose a bunch of crit chance. We'll lose mana penetration, but we'll gain armor penetration. Now, uh, you know what? We'll try it out. Just try it and see what happens. Half this game is trying out things and seeing what happens. Your party wonders what the story behind the strange contract laying here discarded and forgotten. It is made entirely of blue crystals interlinked together with some strange wires. Whatever happened here, it must have been a very long time ago. The crystals have lost all their shine, not even reflecting the light of the torches. Only a few small shards scattered on the floor still emit a timid blue light. And that's, that's all there is there, I guess. We found some crystals. Oh, we can find crystals too. Should probably pick those up. I didn't realize that we could draw crystals from the wall. We should be more cautious about that. I'm gonna just try and sneak by these guys and just ignore them for now. There is chests and treasure over there, but we're out of time. I don't want to get into another fight just yet. Except it looks like fights are coming to us no matter what. So, we'll end the video here. Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Others will see you next time.